Peppa Pig, George's Balloon. Peppa Pig, George's Balloon. Peppa and George are driving home with Granny and Grandpa Pig when they see Miss Rabbit's ice cream stall. Uh, let's stop for an ice cream, says Granny Pig. Why not, says Grandpa Pig. I think we deserve it. Pepper, Granny and Grandpa Pig choose their ice cream. George is next. Dinosaur! Rawr! Says George. I think George wants a dinosaur balloon, says Miss Rabbit. All right. How much is it? Grandpa Pig says. Ten pounds, please, says Miss Rabbit. Dinosaur! Rawr! Grandpa Pig thinks the balloon is a bit expensive, but he buys it for George. Hold on tight to it, Miss Rabbit says. But George lets go and the balloon starts to float away. Grandpa Pig quickly grabs the string. Oh, this is very valuable, George. I'll hold it on the way home, says Grandpa Pig. Outside Granny and Grandpa Pig's house, George plays with his balloon. George, says Pepper, this is an up balloon, and if you let it go again, it will go up to the moon. Moon, cries George, and he lets the balloon go. The balloon goes up and up, but Grandpa Pig catches it just in time. Peppa and George have gone indoors to keep the balloon safe. Hello, Polly, says Peppa. George has got a new balloon. Squawk, cries Polly. Balloon! Both Polly and George love the balloon. Squawk! Balloon! Oh, no! George cries, letting go of the balloon. The balloon floats all the way out the door, up the stairs and into the attic. Don't worry, it's safe in here, says Pepper. Don't worry, says Granny Pig, as they follow the balloon up the ladder. The only way out of the attic is the window. And the window is always shut. But the window is not shut. The balloon escapes outside. Oh no. Your balloon is going to the moon, George, says Peppa. <coughs> cries George. Just then, Daddy Pig arrives to take them home. Oh dear, says Daddy Pig. There must be some way we can get the balloon back, cries Granny Pig. Squawk! Balloon! says Polly Parrot. Polly flies high up into the sky and catches the balloon string in her beak. Polly to the rescue, cries Granny Pig. Polly Parrot has saved the day. Hooray! George cheers. What a clever Polly, says Granny Pig. Squirt! Who's a clever Polly? repeats Polly Parrot. George, don't let go of your balloon again, says Pepper. Daddy Pig has an idea. I'll tie the balloon to your wrist, George, he says. That will stop it floating away.
George is very happy. He loves his balloon. Everyone loves George's balloon. Squawk! The end.